You know, I frequently come across people stuck in their comfort zone, whether it be their career, public speaking, relationship, or other areas of their lives. You know, it feels frustrating to be stuck, especially when you know deep within you need to take a new direction in life. So often, people are afraid to take a new direction. The comfort zone can be paralyzing, the indecision can be a living hell, and it takes courage to make changes. Many people stay in their comfort zone because it's familiar, it's safe, and they know what to expect. Now, people and people around us that influence us can oftentimes make it even more difficult to get out of the comfort zone. Think about it like this. I saw this great analogy once where the speaker was talking about a rubber band. You're here in this rubber band and the, this is someone that's, that doesn't want to change, right? And as you pull away and you start making those changes, the intention goes increasing and increasing and increasing until the point it breaks, which then causes what? pain. Now, if there's several people, maybe like your parents and boyfriend, girlfriend, relationships, whatever, now you've got three rubber bands and the tension is even greater. And when it breaks, it's even going to hurt more. So it's not an easy thing always to get out of, but oftentimes it's really necessary that we learn to take the steps, create the motivation and the balances to make those changes. Now we're going to talk about what it is that motivates human beings and what you can do to tilt the scales in your favor so that you can get out of the comfort zone and start living that life that you dream you should. So often the comfort zone is simply this. We know we can do more. We feel we can do more. Life is okay right now. It's not bad, but I'm not really happy because something's lacking. And believe me, I'm talking from self-experience here where you get stuck in just kind of a rut and you say, well, it's okay. It's not so bad. I can deal with it. it on and on and on. But the truth of the matter is we're not growing. And every day we're getting older and human beings, we love to have the experience of growth the feeling that we're doing something or that we're changing or that we're improving in some way, shape or form. Now, one of the main reasons that we get stuck in the comfort zone is that basic human psychology is our motivation. See, all our motivation is based on two things. And yes, it's that simple. Two things, pain and pleasure. Everything you do, everything I do is based on getting some pleasure or avoiding pain. Therefore, if you're stuck in the comfort zone and you want to overcome something, the reason you're not taking action is because if we imagine a scale for a moment, you'll have all these ideas of pain if you make those changes and the benefits are up here. So the pain outweighs the benefits, at least in your perception, in your mind. So one trick that you can use to start to overcome the comfort zone is to start to build the benefits, the pleasure that you'll receive by making those changes and therefore at least putting it in balance. At least now you have a 50-50 chance. Now if you add more and more pleasure in your own mind, eventually the scale will tilt the other way and it'll become much, much easier to make that change because you'll have leverage on yourself. You'll have leverage to have that change. You'll have leverage to make that change and to overcome whatever it is that's keeping you stuck in the comfort zone. Lastly, we need to acknowledge one thing that's very important is that our own egos. When we acknowledge we need to make a change, because we're stuck in something. A lot of times our egos feel bruised and just to avoid that pain, we'll do anything not to acknowledge that we made a mistake. Human beings hate acknowledging that they messed up. Therefore, you need to have the courage and the motivation to overcome your ego, readjust your perceptions on things, and just be pragmatic and practical. If you're stuck, you're unhappy, things are not going well, or maybe things are going fine. Many times things are going fine, but you just don't feel happy or you're not just in the space that you need to be. And when that happens, that's the time you need to really sit down and analyze and say, okay, what's going on here? Ah, maybe I'm designed to live a bigger life. Maybe I can do more with my career than where I am currently. Maybe I have more talent. Now, if we're talking about your career and you decide that you want to become an entrepreneur, that might mean you're gonna to have to work a lot more. So maybe at your current job, you work 40 hours a week. If you become an entrepreneur, you might be working 90 hours a week for many weeks in a row. It's hard work. So I'm not saying it's for everybody, but maybe if it's something you wanna get out of your comfort zone because you don't want to do exercise because it's easier to sit on the sofa and eat chips and drink beer and watch sports on TV. Or maybe it's easier just not to do anything because it's the easy way. In your own mentality, you need to change your beliefs about what is really easier. If you're not taking care of your body, the long term is not gonna be easier because you're gonna have health problems. And believe me, that is not easier. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'd love to speak with you about a coaching session and see how we can help you and your company and your organization get better communication, get better at public speaking, get higher performance and become more motivated or learn to motivate your team to take action, get out of that comfort zone and start doing things the right way. Thanks for listening.